The color depth is current settings. For the output, like AVI or MP4, you want to click just like underneath this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today is the day I'm going to show you guys how to export and render your videos or your project in After Effects. So let's say you're looking for the best send... For the Fucking hell. Today I'm going to show you guys how to render and export your project in After Effects CC because actually there are a lot of things you need to take care of and you need to have the right settings. So today I'm going to show you guys how to render out your project. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below and make sure to subscribe as well for more videos. Uh, there's, no, there's nothing left to say, let's jump straight into the video. Let's, let's don't waste any time here and let's get started. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, we are on After Effects and as you guys can see, I have like a really epic shot of me like with an explosion and all that stuff. And I'm going to show you guys how to render out this part like properly. So you have a lot of render options. Um, so but first of all, you just want to select everything that you want to export. So the first thing you want to do to render this out is you want to, you know, make sure you have everything, you know, when you're fully ready, finish anything. And then basically you want to click on composition. You want to click on add to render queue. It's not like render in the, like settings render ask and then render it out it's like a little bit different than After Effects when you, you want to add that to a render queue then as you guys can see here you want to click on it where you want to save the file I'm gonna just save that to my desktop I'm gonna call that clip then what you want to do you want to click on render setting like best settings then you see this box and this is actually pretty important so you want to put the quality to a best the resolution a full the disk cache to read only the size is 1920 by 1080 full, full hd uh, the proxy use don't use one um, the, the effects just the current settings the solo switches also the current settings the guide layers or you want to pull it all off color depth is just just current settings and then frame blending uh, you want to put that to on for check layers that's really important actually and then the field order is off the motion blur is just you know on for check layers and then the time span is just on work area only then you can choose the frame rate right now so here you can choose what fps so this as you can see this is just 30 uh, you use this frame rate boom and then you can actually set it to 50 and that's basically how you can re render in 50 fps you're gonna put this one to 60 as well and basically that is um, how you put your best settings so just pick HD the quality best as you can see at the f like like full at, at the top right here and then you want to pick your FPS and then what you want to do is you want to click on OK and then for the for the output like AVI or MP4 you want to click just like underneath this like underneath uh, custom settings then you can see your formats and here you can choose a lot of different formats and what I would use like what I would recommend using is i would say avi because the problem is i also would recommend uh wmv but it is not listed in this so you want to click on avi the channels is just rgb you want to leave everything actually like like how this is basically you want to leave everything you would just want to choose your format right here and you want to click on ok and then basically what you want to do is you want to click on a render at the right boom and as you guys can see the clip is rendering that's really, really simple, guys. I know, and you, you probably should hear like a sound, um, like a sound effect when the render is done. But as you guys can see, it's going pretty slow because actually I have like a pretty, pretty decent clip. I'm gonna wait until it's finished rendering, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Three weeks later. Okay, guys, just a few more seconds, and then boom, the actually the render is done. As you can hear the sound. Bam! You can hear the sound actually when it's rendered. That should be that's really awesome. So as you guys can see, the the, fill, the clip is just fully rendered, and let's just play it back and see what we have when it's rendered out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make an explosion after effects. So that looks pretty amazing, guys. So that's what's similar to this. That's basically how you render out a, a video, and basically like the best settings in details are coming soon in the next few weeks. I will be uploading a video like how to render in 50 fps, 30 fps, 60 fps with the right right settings, like actually going in detail because today we're actually like when like we went through it like really quick i'll be explaining like how to render the best you know the best settings for render settings in after effects next coming week so make sure to stay subscribed stay tuned make sure to stick around because you don't you don't you don't want to miss out any of those tutorials that's basically as simple as this okay guys that was freaking amazing well thank you guys for watching thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video i want to thank thank you thank you guys for the continued support i'll see you guys tomorrow for two freaking obs tutorials it's going to be really awesome make sure to smash the like and the subscribe button down as well it will be really appreciated so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow for two videos at 3 30 and 5 30 p.m p.m 
PTSD. Thank you guys for sticking around. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for two videos. Uh, you know, as well, like always, like seven days a week. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. In about uh, four episodes, it's going to be the 22nd of May, and then I find something else. When I started using video editing software, it was like, I have my own Patreon page. You have fucking trolled. Channelpages.com. Kind of nice weather. And I'm a tight with just Alex Halford. You know, yes. it's his channel, so that's a bit of a logic.